guys live on Action News TV. Night light. Today we are going to film this beat right over here. They are literally beating each other right now, and I'm catching it live in 4K. Okay, my honest reaction about the version 1.5 update. Where is the game pad? Okay, so uh, I did research, and uh, basically it's it was bugged. So I'm not really gonna do gameplay because. Nah, I, um, no. It's, I already tried it and it was just, it's not even worth the content. Basically what they did is they added tier 3 armor, okay, cool, nothing really interesting. Thermal, uh, I don't really, I feel like it was kind of garbage in, in my opinion, not, I mean, hate on me for it, but eh. And then mobile and console support, mmm, great, that's great. Mix it with a bunch of PC players. I want you guys to tell me. Mobile and then a PC game and then criminality. It's, it's it's a shooting game, dude. It's literally the PC players are obviously gonna win. I mean, criminality for years. It's literally just been only for PC and then mobile and console support. Nah. I mean, and then the airstrike. It's literally just an RCU weapon and it, it literally costs. It's not even worth it, dude. Just buy an RPG, dude. It's literally the same thing. Probably the only time you're actually gonna get kills with it is in casual. Let's be honest. Also, uh, I think they made a little error in their name. Silly moment. Oh, and also they're uh, lying about the prices. I mean, 15% more, 30% more. It's a scam. Thanks for uh, lying to us, RV. I mean, overall, the version 1.5 update was literally just the version 1.3 update. It's kind of eh. Nah. I mean, that's just my opinion. If you like it, go ahead. I don't really care, but like, eh, it could have been a little better. Really hope the VIP stuff is actually much better because that's probably the only reason we were hyped up about it. Okay guys, goodbye.